out some new territory this morning, and we've just seen what looks like to be a s small group of buffalo bulls over here. We're hearing that there's a group of elephants over there. They don't sound too happy. So we're going to see what happens here. Go in and try to get a look at them. One of them was completely gray, so maybe he's a real old guy. We'll see. Wind's good. That, that's a limping one. Oh, yeah, you, up, right? you see it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure enough, the bull from three days ago. Worn off left tip. Old bugger. I'm glad we found him and got to. He's the one. Yeah, he's the one, for sure. Gone. Well, Christian, this was a unexpected, but to me, a great ending here and to our Karamojo part of the trip. You know, I got three bullets in this bull a couple days ago. And due to my poor shooting, not the right holes. And lo and behold, we, we find him on our last day here, hobbling, got up on him, able to put a couple more in him and get him down, which is definitely the right thing to do. I mean, it takes a potentially super dangerous animal you know, when people are walking around out here, you're hunting with other people. I mean, he was going to be mad at the world, but 
It also just shows how tough these things are to put three 458s in him the other night and he's still getting around out here. So. Yeah, buffaloes have an unbelievable will to live. I mean, this, we have one hole here that's in the stomach. Yeah. When we open them up, we will see how, how bad the wound is. One is low here and one right. on the leg. One on the leg, that broken leg. And I mean, obviously this is the situation you don't want to happen, but this is a good, a good way to end it, to be able to actually find him again and, and be able to put him down. Of course, you want to put one shot in, have him fall over and it be done, but that's not always reality. And I'm just glad to get the old guy down and, and put, him, put him out of his misery. He's also a hobble along. Go, go with the truck, go with the truck, we'll just walk through, it's still a truck. Go, 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 go. Let's just try and get in front of him. shoulder. <laughs> I anchored. Oh my goodness. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're a machine, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, that was exciting. Whew. That was a big buffalo, and you know, we were onto him right away. He wouldn't let us get close. <laughs> Took a little longer shot than uh, I would like to, but he was just too good a buffalo, and. Uh, I looked at him through the scope and they really thought we can make this shot and uh, put a good first round in him. But you know, even with a good first round of the buffalo, they can travel. So 
He made me pay. I turned up on my <laughs> breakfast this morning, but it was well worth it. <laughs> well, well that buddy. It. Well done, my friend. Shit. Beautiful old bull, eh? Wow. Well, a really exciting morning this morning. Uh, we have two more days left in the hunt, and uh, this is uh, the, the last buffalo I have on license, so we wanted to look for something really special. Like I said, we had two whole days, and I thought we'd really do a lot of shopping. There's just so many buffalo, it's kind of an embarrassment of riches that uh, we were gonna drive around and look, but <laughs> shortly, uh, we looked at two buffalo bulls about 15 minutes out of camp, 15 minutes later, we bump into this bull. Uh, when your pH gets excited, when he sees a bull, then you can't help but get excited. And Darren got pretty excited when we saw this bull. He didn't really want to play. Uh, he was moving off at a pretty good clip, uh, but the guys kept uh, kept good eyes on him, and uh, we got up as close as we could. Um, this old buffalo was pretty wary, and uh, had to take a little longer shot than uh, than normally we'd like to. But uh, he was on a mission, and when he stopped and turned broadside, um, everything went good through the scope and let one fly. Uh, we had a, a bit of a jaunt uh, then to catch up with him, uh, and we put two more in him uh, and got him down quickly because uh, we're about, uh, at this point, um, less than a mile from the park boundary. So we, <laughs> we wanted to get him down before he motivated that way. I don't think he would have made it. But um, you sure as heck don't want to uh, take that chance. So. No. And a beautiful buffalo. Just an absolutely gorgeous buffalo. Very happy. guy looks but he, he could have been dead long ago Yes, and he had both his horns like that. His left one. No, no, no. As you can see, we've had a wonderful week up here in Caramojo. We're getting the trucks packed. We're gonna load up and move down to the Nile River at Oswell Olim today. So tomorrow we'll be hunting cob, um, bush buck, heart of beast, and a bunch of different plains game, maybe even doing a little bit of fishing. But this week of buffalo hunting has been beyond compare.
crossing in Murchison Falls National Park. We're going to be crossing over the ferry. We'll be leaving the Aswal area where we have been hunting and headed to the Kapui area where we'll hunt for the bush buck. But <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> nice, nice female. Well done. Nice female. Yeah, fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> 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 <Smash her. laughs> I'm gonna give you some some trouble, my like perfect well shot. Eh? Thank you. Thank you. So this started off yesterday morning. Um, we left uh, Karenga, Karamoja and drove for about five hours, got here. Uh, we didn't hunt yesterday afternoon, but uh, decided to go out early this morning. Um, not, not far from, from the, the camp, we bumped into this uh, beautiful harder beast along with uh, about 100 cob. So it was a bit of a challenge to, to get a shot in on him. Um, but yeah, eventually it worked out and uh, Mike made a great shot. To both lungs, uh, he ran 80 yards and went down. Well done, Mike, good shooting. Thank you, Darren. It's, uh, it's special. Yesterday was my first time to ever see the Nile, which is, which is a treat for, for someone who never thought they'd, they'd be able to see a river, that, that great river that we've all read so much about. And then to the next morning be able to take this, this great heart of beast. It's, uh, it's been an exceptional, exceptional 24 hours and we look forward to another couple of days here in Oswa to chase the cob around and maybe, uh, maybe a water boat. There's one over here that looks... Well, let's, let's just go and then we'll come back. some cop. Uh, we did a sneak in on some of them but uh, 
they weren't big enough, but uh, uh, there's one lying under a tree yeah, we're going to try and get up to. It looks quite quite nice. Maybe we'll give it a bash. him again. I think he's pretty toast. Good shooting my friend. Thank you very much. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, That's the shot he gave me. Yeah, it's a nice cob. Eh? We weren't here very long and I, I know that uh, we made a stock on this guy. We had to back up a little bit and reassess and uh, once we had it figured out, Darren got the sticks up, he was in the scope and got a lucky shot off and he went down. So very thankful to be here and these animals are gorgeous. So one on the left. On the right? Yes. The right? No. On the right? No. No, he was the one on the left. I can't see the one on the left. Okay. Facing away from us, wait for him to turn broadside. There. You hit him. Bring my gun. Saw a couple bulls. <clears throat> um, both of them looked relatively nice, one a little bit better than the other. Took a fairly long shot for the 404, but the ram jumped 
four feet in the air at the shot, so hopefully, hopefully we've got a good hit. We'll go see. A couple of young rams there. Well, let's go and have a look. Um, our tracker said that he saw it go down, so hopefully we find him in front here. Well done, my friend. Thank you, Dan. Nice cob, eh? Thank you. That's a perfect <laughs> shot. It's amazing with the 404 that he ran like that. Uh, shuff. Thank you. Thanks, Martin. Okay. Good job. Nice hooks. We're hunting in Aswa, which is in the Nile River Valley. We're not that far from the Nile River. We're here to hunt Ugandan cob and Jackson's Heart of Beast. This is a Ugandan cob, probably the most beautiful of all the cob. And um, uh, Uganda, this part of Uganda in the Nile River Valley is just, there are just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of cob. It's amazing to see, it's great to see that the animal population is, is thriving. And uh, we had a little bit of a long shot on this, this ram, but um, we were able to make the shot. He didn't run very far and, and we've got a beautiful ram. Good shooting. Thank you, Darren. Well done, Mike. Good stuff. Female, eh? It's one female. There might be some more there. Um, we just come back after lunch. Um, we spotted a, a water beast. We're just going to go and check and see if there's any others with it. Uh, the one we saw was a female, but I'm sure there's got to be more. And hopefully a bull. facing towards us. He's standing exactly broadside. He's rubbing his head against his thing. Ah, oh, shit. What the hell happened there? He's the big guy at the back. He's, he's higher than all the others, but there's some in front of him. Yep. Don't shoot, wait for those to clear, then whack him. You can see he's higher up. Yep. He's looking back. There's one looking at us. Once that one clears, you can smoke that one behind. They must have got a puff of our wind. I see him. He's this side. It almost sounded like a gut shot. Did it? Yeah. Have you got? Right on his shoulder. Have you got ammo on you? I think he's stopped I do, I in. I do have okay. one on the pipe. shoulder. It's hard about making that. No, 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 that happens. That's hunting, eh? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well done, my friend. <laughs>
What you say? <clears throat> I felt really strong about the first shot. Apparently it wasn't. We'll get over and investigate in a minute, but beautiful hard beast on the ground. Very excited about that. Jackson hard beast. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. Shit. Beautiful horror beast, eh? Jeez. How lucky was that, eh? I really didn't think we'd get an opportunity at another one because uh, there's just not a lot of them around here. Yeah. Just two in one day. I'm very Put it there, my you friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. So we had a great hunt this morning. Um, we went back to camp, had a bite to eat, a uh, little bit of a rest. It's, it's so hot here that we only started at about 4.30. Um, yeah, we headed out and uh, Mike spotted this thing. Uh, well, one harder beast, a female, and yeah, we decided to go and have a look, and we found uh, about five or six of them down in a bit of a gully, and yeah, we managed to make a sneak in on him, and uh, Tom shot him, ran off, and here yeah, we have him. Well done, Tom, good shooting. Thank you very much. Well, the nice and convenient thing about this Dakota Traveler is I've been buffalo hunting with a 458 wind mag and now I just popped it off, put a 300 on for the planes game part of this hunt. So I just want to check the zero, everything should be fine. I've got the new Trigicon Credo on here. It's going to be my first hunt with it, but it is a beautiful, beautiful scope. So let's give her a run. Real good, um, came out and the first one was just a tad bit high and I made an adjustment and now we're two inches or so high at 100 yards so we should be good out to 250 and good to go. A big treat for me on this this trip was always hanging out with Christian, but he told me that over the hundreds and, and maybe more than that, a cob that he's guided in Oswell Olim over the years, I mean, he'd never taken one for himself. So as we talked about it that morning at breakfast, he finally agreed to it and, and we went out that first morning and pretty quick we see this one lone old bull laying under a tree and he's nice heavy horn and you can just tell there was age and with everything that's that's a big priority for christian oh, we had one bedded over this hill i'm gonna try to sneak in behind him and see what happens but as we glassed him we noticed that something was going on with his neck and eventually we could see that he had a, a snare and had wire around his neck And it has pieces of lung, see? Yeah. <laughs> what happened to 200 meters? That was 53. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy, he's heavy. My goodness, that wire did a lot. You see, perfect lung shot. Yeah. Good job? No. Nothing wrong for this gun. <laughs> that poor it saved your hat, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he got the wire off. 
But he cut it badly in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got the wire off. The wire is off? Yeah, yeah the wire is yeah, it's off. Oh, here's the snare. Yeah, definitely did him a favor. Christian, good work. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's nice, to, nice to see you shoot something, but you know, we came around and saw this old guy laying down. And we decided he was old and worn and you were gonna to try to go in and take him. But when we got there, something just didn't look right. When he stood up, we could all see he had a snare on his neck. Yeah. So it was a perfect cob to take. And out of the hundreds you've had people shoot over the years, the first time you've actually pulled the trigger on one. Yeah, it's true, it's my first cop. Um, perfect to take. And big yeah. heavy. I mean, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful form. So it's a great way I to start our first morning in Oswa. And then, you know, Old cob down. <laughs> Congratulations. Nice job. It is much bigger than the others. I love this. Very yeah, handsome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is bigger, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I guess going around with no snare on your neck. Gorgeous. Christian, it's already getting hot. What is it, 9 o'clock, 9.30? Yeah, around and there. I'd say we get this dude to the skin and shed, go back to camp, meet up with other guys, see how their day's gone so far, and we'll make a plan for the afternoon. We have arrived at Para on the Nile. This is where we're going to take the boat to go up to Murchison Falls and see if we can't do a little fishing, catch a, a Nile perch. So it's amazing just to see the, just the magnitude of this river and the flow in this river, the amount of water that this river is moving. Okay.
Let's think of all the fish. That's not good. Last words. Yeah, that's a good thing. 
sandpaper to eat. Yeah. Hold them up, bros. Enjoy the dip. Good seeing you, Fran. Good seeing you again. You bet. You as well. You as well. That's a safe trip. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Driving in the big limousine. I'm going in the limousine. You take care of me. You take such good care of me. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You bet. Well, I've come to the end of my safari. We've just finished fishing on the Nile River. Went up to Murchison Falls, which is just, man, one of the splendors of nature. It's you've got to see it to believe it. It's just amazing. And uh, we did a little hike to Little Trail, got up, got a good look at the falls, then went down and did some fishing. Uh, caught a couple of catfish. Now fishing, now perch fishing was a little slow, but, uh, but we had a great time with a great group of guys. This is it for me. Like I said, I'm headed back to Kampala. I'm catching a plane tomorrow. It's been a fantastic safari. I can't speak highly enough about Uganda wildlife safaris uh, and the Karamojo area where we hunted. I I've checked all the boxes. Uh, in Uganda, but it's still a wonderful destination, friendly people, uh, great climate, uh, and absolutely fantastic hunting. So if you ever uh, get the opportunity to come, uh, don't put it off. This is, uh, this is absolutely uh, an unreal place to visit for the safari enthusiast. Maybe I've got the aircon on. We're taking a travel break here in the middle of going from Oswa to the Kafu River Basin, but this is one of the coolest places in Uganda. I've got to stop here before. This is the Masindi Hotel. Lots and lots of history here. It was part of that Savo rail line that came from Kenya that we all know the Savo lines and the ghost in the darkness. It's probably most famous that Hemingway had two airplane crashes in one week. And this is where he laid up and recuperated for a couple months. Now there's stories, I don't know if they're true or not, that this is where he came up with and or wrote the short happy life of Francis Marco. So, whether that's true, I don't know. It was also where they sort of had their headquarters for the African Queen, the famous movie with Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn. But we are hot, we're dusty, and I'm ready to go in the Hemingway bar and take a little break.
Where we're in Oswa, <clears throat> we're going to, uh, we chased water buck around yesterday, saw one that was running off in the brush, so we're back this morning, early, early, to see if we can't catch one at first light. We understood there was another one down by one of the little settlements, so we're going to check both of those out this morning and see if we can't get Tom a nice water buck. He's sort of walking sort of towards us, he's very wide. Extremely old ram, but fuck, he's got some hooks. And he's wide. Well, that's looking at us, not now. Yeah, he's just, he stopped, he's looking at us, just, okay. he's right here. Let's wait for him to clear. There he is, he's in the open, he's walking. Yeah. He's come out on the right, that's him. Then he stopped. He's like the Dugger Boy version of a cop. <laughs> Watch out, there's females behind. It's gone. I'm sorry about no, that. No, 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 maybe you couldn't see the, her because it was, she was I much lower. I thought the lower. female was further to the, to the left. Yes. This guy's almost blind there. Yeah. We're hunting in Aswa this morning. We were chasing water buck, but we came across a, a large group of cob and this old Cobb male was in the group and we decided we just couldn't pass up uh, trying to trying to take him. So we made the shot on the cob. <clears throat> We're going to continue on after the water buck, but it's a grand trophy. He's exactly what you would want to take in an animal. He's an old mature male. He's got one eye that's completely blind. So an excellent trophy to to take for the hunter to enjoy, but also to preserve the, the wildlife for the future. A big part of hunting in Africa is making use of all the meat that's harvested through the animals that are shot during the course of a safari. We've stopped at a small little village here and we've got some meat from the cob and the heart of beast that we've been hunting for the last several days in order to share with these local villagers. You know, hunting is all about sustainable yield of animals and, and giving back to the community as well. And this is just another example of how hunters are, are the true conservationists that are out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see that water buck? He's the dark and there's some part of beast there as well.
chat was good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think Old, old bull there. Well done, my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much. And he looks like he's got some decent things too. He does. <laughs> well done, Thomas. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Darren, congratulations. Hey, well, that happened quickly. Thanks, guys. <laughs> What'd you say, sir? Hey, the oh, that was incredible. Just uh, got started <laughs> here <laughs> and didn't get very far into our look and seeing, of course, Cobb running everywhere and heart of beast and all of a sudden wait 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 water buck and uh darren drops off the side and the truck carries on and sticks went up and i think when the sticks go up you shoot and we did we got a magnificent water buck he's beautiful well then tom nice trophy sir yes sir It's our first morning here in Mindja camp and I think what we're going to do today is go out and just kind of do a survey. There's been lots of flooding here over the last few months and it's gone down. But we want to go out and get eyes on the Sittatung areas, the Mashans, see what's huntable, what's not. And while we're driving around, this is absolutely the best place on earth to take a good bush buck. So we'll keep our eyes out. that man first Nile bush buck this morning little guy but man they are so pretty the colors on the, the dots and stripes are gorgeous isn't it? First Michon to just go check it out, but the guys were saying just a month or so ago this whole flat out here was underwater. That's usually the road. So that tells you how high it was. They're checking for tracks, but they're only seeing some water bark, bush bark, apple. See, this is the other side of the river, there you can see a mushroom. Yeah, there's another one there. See, it closes. Yeah. Amazing what Mother Nature keeps. How's that, man? That is beautiful. I just love bush buck, and there's not much prettier than these gnarls. He just looks painted.
we're cruising over to to see some of the trackers. They picked up a baby set of tongue a few months ago that's mother got eaten by a python and they're feeding him by a bottle over here. on his little tiptoes walking on dry really land. That's cool. I started raising him. He loves me. He knows I'm the mother. <laughs> if I'm not here, nobody can give him milk and he accepts. He's very scared of strangers sometimes. But when he's hungry, he can a little bit get closer to any person because he needs to feed. So that's him. His name is Apapene, means a young goat. So I never raised any wild animal, but I, I could raise young goats. They like me, so I started being friend to him. I knew he was going to run away, but he never did. So I still hope <laughs> he's going to be my child forever. <laughs> Got our group back. Tom and Mike showed up at lunch today. They finished in Oswa with a couple more great animals, so now we're all here looking for bush buck. They better beware. Take two. <laughs> I've got you too, man. There's no escaping this. <laughs> all right, so we left out early this morning at Oswa, and I think it was wake up call was five o'clock. So we've been on the road for quite a while. We got. Um, we stopped at the Macinda Hotel for a quick coffee and kind of reminisce that uh, Hemingway had spent some time there during uh, recovery for a plane crash. Um, continued our drive, made it to Kafu here, I don't want to say about noon. Got some lunch, a little rest, and now we're ready to get out and get after the bush park. So we're pretty excited about that. And seeing some new areas is going to be really cool too. To Kifu been able to see two different areas and they've all been vastly different. So this will be a unique opportunity and looking forward to it. It's a very old ram. He's got an eye missing. Driving along, we've just seen a bushback, but he's run off. Um, I didn't get a good good look at him. Um, it could be uh, an East African, but it looked like the horns were pretty long. So we'll try and do a sneak in and see if we can find him. Fucking young reed buck. He's actually he's actually not bad, but he's still he's shorter, but he looks mature. 
There's a big one for Mike. Big enough for Mike. <laughs> Mike is not picky. Seriously. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a true true now that. He, he looked he looked mature but he's he's not he's not very long. Mm -hmm. See that very dark under the belly. Yeah. But he's got no spots or stripes. There's faint spots on the rear. Yeah. yeah. Very, very faint. Shit. Well, you can take him, I mean. <laughs> is it a Nile? Yeah. So is it a good Nile? Yeah. I mean, we can shoot it and look for a big East African. Gonna. Got a good no, bush buck ram over here if you'll hang around. Was it on? No. No, you missed. <laughs> That's one of the few patient ones we've seen. If he come, he follow us. Old come. and just beautifully colored. These Niles aren't nearly as big as the East African, but they are absolutely gorgeous, much like a harness pushback. Let's go up there and see what we got. That's maybe a hybrid, huh? It's a hybrid. Cool. It's neither Nile, neither East African or something. In between. So this is kind of unique. They have Nile bushbuck here, they have East African, and this looks like a hybrid. He doesn't have that horizontal line down on his stomach. Yeah. Really cool. So a true Nile will have more strapping here and a big strap there, right? The skin in general will be darker, his body much smaller. This one here right. is a 60 kilo inch bush buck, yeah. and he will have this very black harness here running over the right. head. His neck will be black, uh, black, thinner yeah. and black. Yeah. It's a total different. But it just seems like they've all got that big line. Yeah, down they here also too. have, they have that. That's what I look for first. Yeah. Very pretty.
Thank you very much. I love bush bucks. <laughs> I know that. You know that. <laughs> Thank you very much. So this was the 13th ram we saw this afternoon. So this morning we woke up a little earlier and we drove around the swamp area to the back side of the swamp, which is an area apparently doesn't get hunted as often or as frequently. In fact, I'm not sure they've taken any pushbuck from this side. So we wanted to drive over here and see what we can see. Rained all night last night. It's overcast today. So hopefully the game will be, be moving this morning and we'll explore a new area that hasn't been, uh, hasn't been hunted much this season. See the reed buck. <laughs> Good shot. to get over the fence. Dandy, well done, my yeah. friend. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, good hooks. Yeah. Woo, good hooks. And yeah, we got fortunate. Uh, on the way, we spotted this big uh, East African boho reed buck, and Mike made a perfect shot. Well done, Mike. Good shooting, my friend. That 404 talks again. Yeah, thank you, Darren. Yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> it's a beautiful morning. It's sort of cool and overcast and sort of Good weather for reed buck hunting, as I understand. So we've been successful, and that's a great day. And I see ear flickered. Yeah. Thanks, Simon Peter. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the biggest gnarl I've ever seen. <laughs> um, this morning started off with a really nice reed buck um, that Mike shot. Uh, and so we, we drove around this place, Chankwanzi, and didn't really see too much. And we had quite a bit of rain this afternoon. So yeah, it was looking pretty, pretty down and out. Huh? And uh, we started heading back towards the, the main camp at Mayanja. And on the way we spotted this fellow. Um, this is a Nile bushbuck. And it's probably one of the biggest ones I've seen since I've been here. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we managed to make a sneak up on him. And uh, Tom made a fantastic shot. Well done, Tom. Uh, oh, really you. difficult. Appreciate it. And yeah, w what a fine trophy. I can say wholeheartedly, I have never shaken so much when I've seen 
uh, an animal in the scope as I did with this bush buck. It's gorgeous. I could see big long horns and he made us wait a long time before giving us an opportunity. Once we got the opportunity we settled in and made a shot and fortunately here he is and I couldn't be happier. It's a stunning coat, beautiful horns, just a excellent situation and a great day all together and I appreciate all the help the guys did here for us today. Switched gears and now Kristen's killing anything that flies with a shotgun in front of us. Now we're looking for some guinea fowl. You guys, I just saw one. I don't know where it disappeared to. There went a bush buck around. Behind that anthill in front of you. Really good one. Go down. Two. Spotted a real nice looking bush buck up here. We bumped it once, but the guys think they know where it went. These little suckers can be some challenging shooting for sure. In the shadow under a tree. But it was nice. I flipped the little deal and had the green reticle of this credo on there and it really showed up in that shade. How did he go anywhere? Well, that's one of the prettiest animals you'll see in Africa right there. He's really old. He's not super long, but this is a true Nile bush buck. He's got all the coloration. His horns are tipped out and he's worn, but they're just so pretty. We had quite the unexpected midday hunt today. We were out really just scouting around and shooting a few birds and this old, old Nile bush buck came out in front of us and we chased him for a while and finally got a good shot at him under a shade tree. And again, it's middle of the day, but just look how beautiful these guys are with the black and white mane, the stripes, the spots, and then this big line down here on the stomach. They really stand apart. This is a very, very old male. He's not one of the longest ones that you'll find here, but we are just like with the buffalo. I've got one of these on the wall at home that's a fantastic one and we were going for age, but these may be the prettiest of all the bush buck.
Let's go that back. That's a hybrid that day. Let's go take it down. A gay advertisement. Yes. <laughs> He's a smiley, guy. smiley. <laughs> 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 Fuck this could be. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. <clears throat> Sorry. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> it's amazing that he went that far. Eh? It is. So, yeah, we've been out this morning after bushbuck. Um, and, of course, it's, it's Mike's turn to, to shoot. But, uh, geez, it's, it's been pretty tough, I think, with the rain we had yesterday and the full moon. Uh, they've taken quite a while to come out. And we've eventually started seeing some. And we found this nice East African ram. And uh, Mike made a perfect shot on him. Uh, well done, Mike. Good shooting. Well, thank you, Darren. <clears throat> yeah, we've seen quite a few Nile, and we've seen a, a number of hybrids, which is a cross between the, the Nile and the East African, but we haven't seen very many East African bushbuck. Since we've got a couple days left, it seemed like a good time to go ahead, since we had a nice ram that's got good thick bases, to go ahead and, and harvest this ram. Sh shooting Hornady. DGX bullets, and they performed well on the big game, they performed well on the little game. This one actually ran further than anything else that we've, we've hunted, which was probably, you know, 80 yards, 75 yards, something like that. But the bullet exited on both sides. Uh, it's uh, the bullets have performed very, very well on this hunt. Just going to do a little walk through here, see if we can pick up a, a bush buck. Um, hopefully, we get lucky. Let's give it a go. Some kind of 
termite or ant pot quite in here. This is the second one I've seen. You see them going in and out of there. I don't know if these ones bite. Did you see it? Spotted. Shit. Down through the brush. Um, got on a East African fish bucking. It looked pretty good. We just couldn't get back at them. In the meantime, we stumbled into a few more fish buck. Kind of a nice little change of pace. Getting out and getting after them. Fish buck in again. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> He's headed to your beard. He's gonna make a nest. He, he wants to go to the tree, yeah? Yeah. Come here, dude. Is he on my bra strap? <laughs> Did he get on you? Yeah. Cool. Hey, would you like to hold him? <laughs> <laughs> what to say there, Mike? Okay, cool. Look at beautiful community. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it's cool he was looking behind the sewer van. Yeah.
Ah, there it is. Well done. <laughs> <coughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, <Tom>, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Great job, man. Shit. Woo! <laughs> that was a lucky shot. Cause yeah. Oh, beautiful old ram, eh? Yeah. Good start to the day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> that happened fast. Well uh, okay. <laughs> Michael found uh, <laughs> found the uh, bushbuck laying in the grass right by the truck. Literally drove within 15 yards of him. And uh, we went on past, came back because we weren't sure what we were looking at. And after looking a little bit more, and could see his horns thrashing around and getting crazy and throwing rocks over top of him, he finally popped up and and confirmed a East African and a very nice shooter. So. He bolted out and gave just a hesitation weight and uh, 375. She hit home and now we're looking at a beautiful ram. Last day of the safari and it's been a fantastic safari. Lots of game animals on the ground and some really beautiful trophies. Uh, we started out this morning just not knowing we had a lot of uh, full moon so it's kind of slowed the activity down during the day here. And uh, we didn't get too far out of camp and uh, we were able to see a set of horns in the brush next to the road and he popped up out of the brush after a little activity and he gave a little quartering shot and the bullet was able to find its mark, got a little bit lucky. Better be lucky than good is what I always say. Darren, I appreciate uh, everything you've done for me on the safari and it's been fantastic and it's an experience of a lifetime for sure. It's, it's amazing. It, 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 it's amazing that shot just pulled at him. It wasn't like he was spined or. That is beautiful. Yeah. Even more impressive is this coloration in that. I've never seen any of these. Can you see the wear on his mm. bondos? Was he still he bedded? Huh? No, he no, still no. Bedded or did he get up? No, no, no. He was he, up he when was we up, drove but, past. But you could still. Oh, he was? Yeah. Even in the scratch, you could just see... You could just see a shape. Yeah. So it's the 11th hour of the last day of our safari here in Uganda with Uganda Wildlife Safaris. <clears throat> the last animal that we had left on quota was a Nile bushbuck. And um, we went out this afternoon with high hopes and expectations that we would find something. And uh, sure enough, we did. Uh, a beautiful Nile bushbuck there the most beautiful bush buck um, that there are. They just got multiple colors, white, black, tan. Um, they're just an incredibly beautiful animal. We're very fortunate to have been able to take him. And thank you, Darren, for a wonderful hunt. We've had a great time. We've, we've taken a number of really marvelous trophies, but more importantly, we've, we've had a good time and enjoyed some good fellowship. Absolute pleasure, Mike. Well done. Good shooting. Very, very difficult shot. Um, he was in some long grass. And uh, yeah, basically uh, we were shooting at a, an outliner. But yeah, uh, Mike made a perfect shot. Well done. And yeah, uh, it's a great, great finish to the hunter. <laughs>